I am Lamont at Large. Today, I am at the Fairmount Cemetery here in Denver, Colorado. I am here to visit the grave of Jack Gilbert Graham, a man who was tried and convicted and sentenced to die by the state of Colorado for one count of first degree murder. He killed his mother by placing a bomb on the plane that she was flying with, killing her and 43 other people in the process. John Gilbert Graham was executed on January 11, 1957 for the first-degree murder of his mother, Daisy Walker King. Authorities say on November 1, 1955, Graham was giving his mother a ride to the airport and the previous night had planted 25 sticks of dynamite in her luggage, which was connected to a timer which was set to go off 20 minutes after the flight took off. While at the airport, Graham purchased travel insurance on his mother for the sum of $37,500 mere minutes before the flight took off. About 15 minutes after it took off, hundreds of witnesses in the surrounding area of Longmont, Colorado described hearing a very loud explosion and a fireball in the sky. Altogether, 44 people on board lost their lives, including Graham's mother, 38 other passengers, 5 crewmen, which also included a 13-month-old baby aboard. Once authorities were alerted to the crash, they asked for the help from the FBI to help investigate the cause of the accident. Over the course of the following week, it was determined that the plane appeared to have crashed due to the acts of sabotage and that an incendiary device was placed in the luggage compartment, which brought down the flight. It took about two weeks after the crash for the FBI to conduct an investigation and background check of all those aboard and close family members and friends, and it was then that Graham appeared on the FBI's radar. The FBI discovered that Graham had a criminal record for embezzlement by check, forgery, and illegal transport of whiskey for which he had served 60 days in a Texas jail. They also determined that King's restaurant had been severely damaged by a suspicious explosion earlier that year and that Graham had received the insurance settlement. Locals also suspected Graham of deliberately causing his new pickup truck to be struck by a train in order to collect the insurance on that as well. Based on that evidence, as well as interviews, contradictory statements, physical evidence found at Graham's house, and finally a confession, Graham was arrested and charged with sabotage. The charge was later changed to murder. The Colorado District Attorney moved to swiftly prosecute Graham, be it at the simple possible route, a premeditated murder of a single victim, his mother, Daisy. Despite the number of victims killed on Flight 629 along with Mrs. King, Graham was only charged with one first-degree murder, being that at the time there was no law making it a crime to blow up a plane. On May 5th, 1956, Graham was convicted of the murder of his mother, Daisy King, and was sentenced to death. On January 11th, 1957, before his execution, he said this about the bombing, and I quote, As far as feeling remorse for these people, I don't. I can't. Everybody pays their way, takes their chances, and that's just the way it goes. And here we are. We are at the grave of Daisy Walker King, 1902 to 1955. She's buried, if you can see the other names, uh, Debbie to the left and Vita to the right. Vita was her sister, older sister, and Debbie was her mother. Killed in such a tragic, horrible fashion. So you're probably wondering now, am I going to show the grave of the scumbag, Jack Gilbert Graham? Well, technically, he doesn't have a gravestone. But you're kind of looking at the area where he was scattered, if you can say. His ashes were scattered near his mother's grave. That was his wishes in terms of his interment. Uh, as you can imagine, nobody would want to claim such a horrible, horrible human being. So somewhere in this general area right here is where his ashes were scattered near his mother's grave. 
What amazes me about this story so much is that I've never even heard it. I've never heard of this story ever in my life until I was looking up stuff in Colorado and I found this tragic story. And this this cemetery, this cemetery is very huge. And so I can only imagine how many other people are buried here that died on that horrible, horrible day in a just a tragic, horrible fashion. A bad man with a bad brain some some kind of psychological illness to say the least he was afflicted with some kind of just evilness and I do believe that people are born good and I also do believe that people are born evil he had a very estranged relationship with his mother when you grow up in orphanages all throughout your life not being wanted and finding out that later on in life your mother is living the high life while you're still stuck in an orphanage and she didn't even want to come and get you. Not saying that that's a reason to kill your mother and kill 43 other people, but maybe partly having to do with this was his upbringing. Who knows? Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Live but not live, but still alive by the grace of God. I am Lamont at large. I am at the Fairmount Cemetery here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.